we're going to review how to show file extensions in Windows. So if I create, for example, a new text document and then uh, type, uh, just change the name to test, it's test.txt, but you can't really see the, the txt or change it. So what we'll, we're going to do is um, come into uh, folder options. So just go ahead and uh, type folder options and then uh, it'll bring this up, click view, and then uncheck this hide extensions for known file types. Okay, so we're going to uncheck that so we can see these extensions. And then you'll see the .txt and then you can change it. So for example, if you change it to a .csv file, then it's going to turn into something that will open by default uh, with Windows. So the extensions in Windows help you identify which program should open it. But you can also change that too. So if you just come here to open with and then you can select, for example, Notepad and open it in Notepad. Okay, so I'm going to type something like time and then a value and I'll type uh, a couple values here. Okay, just some, a data file, sample data file and save it. So this will be a comma separated value file and I see now in Windows that um, it is saved as a .csv. If I open it up in Excel, just double click it now, then it's going to show me a time and a value with those uh, values I put in there. You can also change the extension by going to File and then Save As and then you can browse. If you want to change it back into something like an Excel workbook, you can select that here under the fi Save File Type As. Okay, Save Type, Save As Type. And then I'll go ahead and save that. So now I'm going to have two files on my desktop. Okay, the .csv and the .xlsx for the Excel workbook. Now if I edit this with something like, um, you know, a notepad, it just um, isn't going to look very good. Uh, but if I change this now to a .zip file, okay, um, it becomes a zipped archive. And then I can see in here that uh, Microsoft saves uh, Excel files as a zipped archive and you can see some of the data and other structure of the Excel file here in uh, in this zip file. But in order to be able to change this, okay, I can change it back into an Excel file, um, XLSX. Okay, I'm going to change it. It's going to change it back into an Excel file and then I can open it again. Okay, so just the main thing with this is to be able to see uh, file extensions. You just have to come into folder options and under view and just select, unselect this hide extensions for known file types.